Hey guys, so I wasn't really planning on making a video tonight because I've got a bunch of other things to do. Ideally, I was going to make a seed starting video, but that's not in the forecast for this evening. Um, I have homework that needs to get done. I need to clean my house. <laughs> I know some of you guys were probably concerned that I was running out of plants and I wasn't going to have enough. Um, so, I ordered some, and I got it in. <coughs> so, and they were two companies that I hadn't heard of before, and I read reviews, and that didn't seem very great. Uh, but I took the gamble <laughs> to see what would happen, and honestly, I'll buy from them again. Um, so, one thing I bought from one company is I got three blueberry plants, so I need to get these in the ground soon, because actually I'm doing this tonight, I, it's raining outside, I don't really want to go plant plants out in the rain, but they've been in my house for probably three, four days now, so something needs to happen with them, and not in my house, and I figured out where to put them also, so even better. Blueberries need acidic soil. I've tried blueberries before and they were destroyed by people. <laughs> um, we'll just leave it at that. And then, but I didn't do anything to my soil. It just, they worked. They were growing. They seemed fine. But then I bought, I had bought three thornless Natchez thornless blackberry plants because I love blackberries so I'm so excited to grow these. They're one year old plants. Um, they look rough but they all plants like this get sh shipped in their dormant state. But I got one, two, three, and four so that's exciting. Um, I figured out where to put these so that's exciting don't believe they need anything different with their soils. I know they like to be trellised, uh, like berry cane plants like to be trellised, but uh, I have a big raspberry patch out in the woods that's not trellised and it's just does that thing. <laughs> and I'm real okay with that, so I'm probably not going to trellis these, I'm just going to put them in the ground and not tonight. But I'm just going to put them in the ground, so that's exciting. Um, I know where to put these. And then <laughs> the other thing that I got that I have no idea where I'm going to put it uh, is an American elderberry. So the blueberries were giant blueberries, um, but it has lovely little growth on it. Um, I'm a little concerned that it does have growth and that's not dormant, so I might be putting this in a pot until I figure out what to do with it. Um, but so yeah, I just thought I'd share that like, don't worry, I'm not running out of plants, okay? I got more. <laughs> Such a ridiculous person. Um, so that's all I wanted to share with you guys. Hopefully tomorrow I can do my seed starting, uh, video where I start a bunch of seeds because I need to get that started, but also I just need to do some maintenance around the house and keep up with my college homework. So, yeah, that's the plan for, t also I need to finish my friend's Christmas gift and it's March, it's March 22nd, 3rd. It's a Wednesday, so either 22nd or 23rd, whichever one that is. Uh, so, yeah, I am going to plant things tonight, but then I need to get back to work, and it's like 7.30. I have coffee going. Sap is flowing. I almost have a full cool cooler of it, so that's exciting. I'm hoping I can get at least three, and then I would be down to still just needing four, so like, 
We're getting there slowly but surely. Um, so yeah, I think that's all I had to share with you guys tonight. Uh, hope you guys have a good night. And thanks for going on the journey with me. <laughs>